In this video, we are talking about a browser event or a JavaScript event. Uh, if, if we consider an event a signal that uh, something has happened, then simply uh, whenever you uh, take any action on a browser, such as mouse over, click, double click, uh, focus, uh, and, uh, loading the page, uh, leaving a page, key down, key up, mouse over, mouse out, these are all considered an event. And in this video, we are going to cover uh, the three main phases of an event. When an event occurs, the event is uh, dispatched to the target element, meaning the event has to get to the target element, which can be a link, an element, a HTML element, a button, and so on, right? Now, uh, this dispatch occurs in, in three phases, like the very first phase, we call it capturing phase. Uh, where uh, the uh, event travels down from the DOM object tree from the uh, top of the page and goes all the way to the target. Then we have the target phase, meaning uh, the element that has to handle the event uh, will receive the event. And then finally, we have a bubbling phase, meaning uh, these travel from up and down will repeat to top from the bottom. So uh, there are different ways uh, to actually uh, uh, capture the event and either uh, capturing phase or bubbling phase. So as soon as you take an action on a, on a browser, uh, for instance, if you click on the element, mouse over, mouse out, mouse down, mouse up, key down, key up, uh, leaving the page or just arriving to the page or the browser, uh, uh, an event will occur. Now, if you write a set of instruction to handle that event, we can simply attach this event to that instruction in two ways either on the capturing phase or on the bubbling phase. Capturing phase means the event has happened. It goes all the way from the top to very parent node. In this case, it can be a body tag. It goes all the way down to find out which of these element is there to handle uh, the current event. Now, as soon as it receives, it, it gets that element, it passes the event and the, uh, and the element can actually execute the instruction to handle the event. Now, this is one way. So we go from the body to the target element. And at the same time, we can go on the bubbling phase, meaning when we receive an event, we do not trigger the uh, instruction. We do not run the instruction. Uh, but what we do is when we return back to the main node, in this case, the body, we can actually trigger the event, which we call a bubbling phase, right? So both of these possible. Today we will show you this. Uh, I'll show you these uh, different phases, and also uh, in the videos uh, that I create, in the series of videos I create, I will uh, go through common types of event like HTML event, mouse event, and keyboard event. Okay, let's assume we are at the. Uh, body level, if I can write. We are at the body level. And then right here, we have a main div tag. And then inside that, we have a div tag with the ID one. And then we have another one outside the main, which is ID two. Now what happened is, let's assume one and main uh, both handle a click event, meaning if somebody click on these two elements, they will tie to the instruction that has to be executed and it will execute those uh, uh, instructions. Now, as I said, we have two phases on this. So one from top to the bottom and one from bottom to the top. So with this part, what we call it is, we call it a capturing And then this one, we call it bubbling phase, right? So now what we can do is this. As soon as a, a click happens, it, it comes top from the body, it goes to the main. And then uh, if main is handling a click event, it will actually trigger that. And then it will go to one and then triggers one as well, right? Now what happened in this case is, if, I'm, uh, if, if I have these two elements and both handle the click, first, the main will be executed, and two, 
the one, the div with the ID one will be executed. Now, if I go with the bubbling, it's gonna be reverse, meaning still the whole communication comes from the top, passes by the main one and two, and then when it goes back to get to the body, one will be executed first, and then may will be executed the second. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll write an example to show you uh, this graph so you can understand it better. So let's go to our code and start that. I want to show you first how you can attach an event to an element and then we go through our dialogue and uh, create what we want to do. If, you, uh, if I'm going to use a button element in this case, we know button can have many attributes. It can have ID, it can have class, it can have type and so on. Is that correct? So if I go here, I can simply say, this is a button, right? One of the other element I can add uh, to, the, to any element, HTML element, including a button, is attaching an event to that HTML element. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm going to go ahead and add on click event. That's one of the things you can do with the button, right? Now what happened is, as a value of this on click property, I can write JavaScript. As long as I put a semicolon at the end of each statement, I can write a long JavaScript code as a value here. So let's go ahead in this case, if you click on this button, I simply want to go ahead and alert one, two, three. So I'm going to write this. Let me show you the button first. So that's a button I have. And uh, I'm going to write the JavaScript and I simply write one, two, three. Meaning, if I go ahead and click on this, simply a dialog box will come up. There's so many events that you can attach to different elements, right? For instance, this is on click. I can have on mouse over, right? So if I save this, as soon as I go over the button, then you can see the dialog box come up. So I have on mouse over, I have on mouse down, a mouse out, a mouse up, and a mouse will, right? So if I go here and I do a mouse down, simply nothing will happen when I mouse over, but as soon as I click, then you can see the dialog box. So all this allows us to attach certain events, meaning this button can handle this event, and there is a set of instruction to be executed when that event occurs. Okay, let's uh, check our drawing. So this is what happened with the on-click event we attached to the button. So the uh, event will be triggered from the, from the very uh, top node in the document. It can even be HTML document, HTML tag, right? But it gets to the body anyway, all right? And then uh, it goes to the main, and then it goes to one, and then it goes all the way back up. Now, by default, the events are, uh, are dealing with the bubbling, meaning when it comes down, it goes to the main, even if it has on click event, it won't do anything. It goes to one, uh, div with the ID one doesn't do anything. On its way back to body tag, it execute the on click event for one and then for main, and then it gets back to the body tag. Let me show you the code and tell you how this works. So what we have here is, I have created a div tag with the ID main. I have a, another div tag with ID one and, and a button in it. Then I have a button outside the div one. So what I'm going to do here is, I wanna go ahead and add uh, uh, some event handler, on click event to main and one and try and see what happens when we uh, click on any of these elements. So I added some small CSS here to have the uh, main shown on the page and then I have the two button, button one and two. So the very first thing I, I'm going to do is I'm going to add the on click event and here I will go and say alert, this is, this is main dev, right? So I'm gonna close this and let's just make sure it works. So if I click on main, it should simply bring up the bar and say, this main dev, or this is main dev, right? <clears throat> Here you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add the event handler, in this case, on click on the button as well. So I'll go ahead and say on click equal uh, alert. This is, this is div one. Okay, let's see what happens. So if you remember, if I click on the main, I'll get the main div tag, right? So let's go and click on the button one. So what happened is I get this 
div is one, is this is the one. I click OK, pay attention to this part. And then I see this is main div. So this is on the bubbling phase, meaning it goes from the bottom and the top. So no matter how many uh, uh, event handler I have in, on the way back to the body tag, they will be executed one after another. So if I go ahead and click on number two, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, if you look at number two, there is no event attached to this. But when we have the capturing phase, it comes all the way down and it way back up, it simply checks because the target event is passed and there is no event attached to it. It checks the parent uh, element, in this case the main, to see if there is any on-click event or any of the same type of event is going to run that. Let me go ahead and click on button two. You will see, right? This is main dev. So as you can see, the bubbling event starts from the bottom of the page or to target element and it will go all the way up. And if it's parent, our handling these event as well is going to trigger those two.